Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you today is this a video on clearing love spells, vows and curses. And let me just tell you straight out, from my experience with thousands of past lifetime reviews that I did, your love is probably the most cursed and manipulated aspects beside your power. You see, love is the drug in every lifetime. When love is in your life, there's magic that transcends wealth, fame, and power. And we all want to keep the magic going all the time. So we trap it, or we are being trapped, or we try to steal it, or oh, it's being stolen from us. So we use physical or social manipulation to keep the left one, the loved ones uh, tied to us. And if that did not work, uh, we turn to uh, magic spells and curses, talismans manipulating through voodoo dolls, uh, pictures and visualizations, to name a few, um, to, you know, get what we wanted. And of course, we are, uh, we are affected by curses, you know. Of course, there were those uh, that were envious, um, competing with us, and we and our loved ones, you know, get cursed by those envious so many times, you know, jealousy. Sometimes you see it in yourself if you see somebody really happy with their loved one. And you are not. You know how envious and jealous you are. It's natural. And then there were also vows that are affecting our love life. Uh, especially the exclusive vows. For instance, to never love anymore, because so many times we got hurt. The more we loved, the more we got hurt. If those that we loved, you know, got lost, sometimes tortured in front of us. This happened in many past lifetimes, too many times. Uh, or we tried to be cool little nuns or monks and vowed to only love Jesus, you know, or the Buddha, or Billy Bob, forever and ever, and nobody else. So these vows meant very sincerely, uh, definitely never considered eternity and real eternity, and so they did not understand how it can affect. Uh, then uh, there are ghosts that affect us from all lovers. In so many lifetimes, we had very true love, very attached, and of course also <laughs> sick love. And uh, whether sick or not, you know, there are ghosts from those lovers that follow us around. We were the most precious thing they ever had in their life. And so they follow us and they don't like <laughs> um, maybe the partners that we chose for our love life, you know, and they interfere with their telepathy. So these are obstacles. And among ghosts, there are also those uh, which are called pious ghosts. When we were cool little pious monks or nuns or renunciants, and we thought that householder life, you know, is the way to carnal life, is the way to get bound here to the physical world, whether it's in Hinduism or Christianity, uh, many of those transcendental religions. Um, you know, considered the earth life as bad, and of course, fornication was just it, uh, you know, binding you to this carnal body and to a life of sin. And so they don't look um, so 
um, pleased at your life life either and they're probably interfering too and then of course there are also aspects of you broken-hearted ones that got disappointed in love that got betrayed that got backstabbed um, raped many times saw the darkest of men you know as prostitutes or sex slave or uh, anyhow, you know, those that do not like men for this or other reason, or like the other gender for this and other reason, and uh, because their own uh, incarnation were at a catastrophic love life, and uh, those are also interfering with us. So, this shotgun meditation we are going to do will probably not clear all curses on you, or probably not all one on you. Much of the time, you will have to do these guided meditation just like you would do regular tea or pills. You know, several times, of course, not several times a day. <clears throat> no, probably, but maybe after a week, you may repeat, you know, till it gets boring. When it gets boring and nothing new happens, you're done enough. Uh, you may also treat yourself to a private Skype session and cut right to the chase. My prices are very reasonable. Uh, just go to my website or send me an email. It's a lot faster and I uh, will send you the information. Uh, save yourself some time. So uh, now just uh, sit in a comfortable office chair. Um, if you want to be aware on doing the meditation, um, some uh, or many of my Clients and followers uh, use these uh, videos to go to sleep as ASMR, so to say. You know, I say my voice relaxes them. And so, either way, uh, if you want to go to sleep, uh, just lay down. Um, it's uh, the meditation is probably going to have an effect on you, just as you would sleep, going besides going to sleep. Uh, but if you want to be aware and conscious and make faster progress, I suggest you sit upright and do intensive breathing so you do not go unconscious. Um, use earbuds or headphones to cancel out nice outside uh, distractions. Uh, and surely do not drive or operate heavy machinery, especially if you, uh, you know, listen. Yeah to a podcast and try to smile as if you're in love. I say smile like an idiot, you know, unqualified happiness and basically just reside in your heart, but smile on your lips. Uh, you will not have access to higher vibrations, to higher love, you know, unless you smile. And uh, breathe at a pace uh, so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. See, it's an excellent speed. Uh, this might have been cut out by the noise cancellation that I have going on here. Uh, but um, if you can hear the air flowing through your nostril, um, you're breathing at a speed um, that cleans out chi through your chakras um, quite efficiently. It's like a, use your chi like a leaf blower in your chakras. Um, also, you, you do not have to repeat my affirmation, just agree in your mind to them. It's your will that decides your life. I'm not your daddy or papa and guru. Um, so, but you do not have to repeat anything. Uh, yet, uh, be in a childlike state of innocence during the guided meditation. You know, if you think cynically, oh yeah, this is just uh, out of suggestion you're not going to have that much benefit. Mm -hmm. So uh, pay attention to what pops into your awareness, but uh, do not judge or try to rationalize at that moment. You can always do that later on. Uh, okay, so and now uh, close your eyes and smile. Smile towards the earth, Mother. And inhale her love. 
into you and on the exhale send your love into her. Deep inhale, deep exhale, sending all your love into her and smile. And now we ask to be connected to absolute source of everything. Amen. And we also connect right now to our own highest self-consciousness. Inhale its love. And now we invite our spirit guides that have been approved by our own high self-consciousness. And we connect to the all-loving aspects of the Milky Way galaxy consciousness. Probably the Hindus would consider this Vishnu. And we connect to the sun consciousness. Smile, smile, smile. Please don't, don't embarrass me here. And we connect to the earth, mother. And we connect to the elements here. And all the beings from this realm that still love us unconditionally. Thank you for coming. Amen. And we ask that everything that happens in and from this session here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the mouse benevolent heart. Amen. And now put the tongue to the palate and imagine that you draw in that love from the Earth Mother into your heart on the inhale and on the exhale. You send it into the right brain. Deep, nice breathing. Sweet smiles. One more time. All the way in and on all the way out. Your right brain half should feel like a soccer ball or like a football ball, not soccer ball, but football. And now on the exhale, send your love all the way out the top of the head where the ceiling is. And imagine that Milky Way consciousness is there, this built Milky Way galaxy. And you actually expand your celestial chakras by breathing into that area. And now we ask for our high self-consciousness in the androgynous form to be in front of us. For most people this might be just a loving presence or a light, like a radiance. It's a smile. And now on the inhale you draw the love from the high self into your heart and in the exhale you send your love to the high self. Back and forth, smile, smile, smile. Deep breathing and feel that love just streaming into you as you inhale. And then send your love just like with your breath from the heart center to that light, to that loving presence of your own higher consciousness. Now we start to communicate with it. We're going to be using its knowledge uh, as a guide here. So first of all, a yes would be a flow of energy from the heart to the head. 
like an uplifting feeling, we ask the high self to give us a yes now. Amen. And if you could not feel this, we ask your high self to make it a lot stronger and give you another yes now. Amen. And if you can't feel that, you may want to use a pendulum. I have a video on how to use a pendulum, so just look that up. Okay, for those that could feel that upflow of energy, I now ask your high self to give you a no, which would be a flow of energy from the heart to your feet. Kind of a down. So we ask, it. please give us a no now. Amen. And let's ask again, please give us a no now, amen, and make it a lot stronger if necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now let's just give it a shot. Let's ask, you know, am I connected to my high self to get good answers now, amen. Yeah, and if you get a positive feeling, just continue. Otherwise, maybe go through this induction again and go into a deeper state of relaxation and acceptance. Or maybe do not uh, expect a, such a you know gross physical response. You know, maybe watch a for a more subtle response. And so we're going to be asking your high self a lot of questions, and they all kind of include. You know, um, let's say when something was done, it also includes did others get affected by you like that? Mm -hmm. Or are there any soul fragments or ghosts stuck around that issues? And all questions also cover this in past life. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them just may be quantified. And it's just like I would stick to maybe a lot. <laughs> The more enthusiastic the yeses, and then not so much, you know, the less, the more enthusiastic the no is. Now ask, how much interference do I have from vows of sexual abstinence? And now ask, how much interference in my life in my love life do I have from gender hate? And let's ask how much of that gender hate comes from rape? And how much of that gender hate comes from rejection? And now ask, how much interference in my love life do I have from ancestor come? And how much interference in our line do we have from funing clans? You know, like the Romans stole their neighbor's women. <laughs> and now we'll ask for forgiveness and for release for all aspects, you know, of these issues as much as possible. We ask the angels to work on this. <laughs> while we continue. Aim. And now ask how much interference in your love life comes from past life love trauma ghosts that are following you around. So 
hope you got a number maybe even, or a lot, or not so much. So uh, love relationships can be such a complicated knot of karma. So it would take a really long time to pick it all apart. So we ask now our ancestors, our spirit guides, our inner children, our high selves, and also of course Archangel Daniel, to just slash this knot of karma between our ex-partners and our present partners, you know, and, and us, you know, uh, wherever it is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent. Amen. 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 And smile and breathe into your heart. And most likely, uh, if there was a lot of karma, uh, you may feel lighter. And just to help it along, you know, just do the Ho'oponopono. Pono. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And we asked the angels to take him home. We unite them with lost loved ones and help him to get home. Now let's go back to the running low with your high self in front of you. And I ask, you know, if you're still alone or in a bad relationship, ask, is this a high self experiment? Yes or no? And now ask, this is like other people experiment, like extraterrestrial studying human messing around with him? Yes or no? And ask now, is this maybe this relationship or not having a relationship? Is there a lesson to learn? Yes or no? Or is this just a distraction? Do you know? It puts you off your real path? Yes or no? And again, if you're still alone, uh, ask it, is it maybe the lesson, love yourself first, do not seek love from the outside? Yes or no? And uh, for some of you, you know, um, you know, you don't know how long to hold on. And first of all, is there a right one, a right partner for you out there in this lifetime? Yes or no? And now we ask the high self, is this right one in the near future? Yes or no? Is this right one in the far future? Yes or no? And let's ask now, uh, to f meet this right one, do we have to go out more? Yes or no? Now ask, should we join a club or a society, you know, or like a sports thing? Uh, yes or no? Ask whether we should start uh, hunting on dating websites and apps, yes or no? Uh, 
asked whether you should become whole first before you should start connecting with other people's problems. Yes or no? Now ask, are there any spells of bindings, you know, binding to somebody affecting your love life in a negative way? Yes or no? And if it's a yes, uh, you know, ask that these bindings please be clear. Amen. And now ask, are there any spells of sexual subservience still affecting you and your love life? Yes or no? And of course, we like to have those clear too by Archangel Michael. And of course, if we do this to others, we like to have that clear too. Amen, amen, amen. And now ask, are there any spells of abandonment? You know, of love abandonment uh, still affecting you? Yes or no? And now let's go some very basic stuff. Now let's ask your high self, you know, to attract, you know, somebody that you actually feel attractive to, not just uh, lower your standards. Should you get in shape? Yes or no? Should you start dressing your best? Yes or no? Should you declutter your hoarding mess, you know, which is probably reflecting of your own subconsciousness? Yes or no? Should you learn how to have fun, playfulness, like a belly dancing, you know, which, for instance, combines a spinal pump action to activate your Kundalini, you know, and absolute control of your pelvic area, you know, and this uh, artistic movement, you know. Uh, so, or you may have a great time pumping iron. I see a lot of male orgasm faces there, so cannot be so bad. So, uh, getting yourself in shape, is this something that you should do, yes or no? Now that was a reality check, I guess, for some of you. And now let us go through some very specific spells or thought forms. Because the more specific you know you are, the more clearly you can clear them. So are you affected by your thought form, you know, probably from ex-lovers? I'm hurt and I want you to feel mine too. Yes or no? Yeah, would you like to have that cleared? Are you affected by a spell like you have to do my bidding? Yes or no? And of course we like to have this cleared, you know, from us as well as we put when we put this on others. Yeah, this one too. Amen. Now ask, are you affected by a spell that goes pretty much like, I make you believe that you love me? Yes or no? And let's have that clear too. And now ask if you are affected by a spell or thought form. I make you believe that I am your twin flame. Yes or no? And now ask whether maybe the twin flame that you think you are is somebody that you have been sacrificed to in past lifetime and so are kind of bound to him that you actually notice real twin flame but in so-called artificial twin flame through black magic bounding. Yes or no?
and ask again. <laughs> Is your twin flame really your twin flame? Yes or no? And now ask your highest self if you have been affected with the thought form, you will fight for my attention. Yes or no? And now ask whether you have been affected by a thought form like, you will give me everything I want. Yes or no? And let's have that clear too. And now let's ask, are you affected by a thought form kind of that says, I do not have to give you anything, not even the truth. Yes or no? And let's have everything cleared like that. And now we get to the glamours. Uh, are you affected by a glamour like I will charm you, make you think that all that glitter is gold? Yes or no? And let's have all those glitter charms cleared. And now here are some more binding spells. Are you affected or did affect others by a spell like I will not allow you to change? Yes or no? Are you affected by a spell like I will not allow you to grow? Yes or no? Uh, are you affected by a spell I will... I will keep you stuck to me, yes or no? And are we affected by a spell that kind of says, you will feel that you are nothing? Yes or no? And let's have those cleared right away on all levels through our lifetimes through all time, dimensions, incarnations, localities, all of creations, you know, where we did it to others and where others did it to us. Amen, 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 amen. Just smile and run earth love into your heart and then expand it out the top of the head. And I'm sure as this is clearing, let's just keep connecting with your high self and ask, are you affected by a thought form that kind of goes like, stay and wait until I come back? Many wives of sailors or soldiers, you know, did that, of course, and others too. Yeah, let's have that cleared. There's a lot of pain around this. Oh my God. Let's have that clear. And let's ask also, are you affected by a spell or curse like I always know what you are doing? Yes or no? Oh, that's more like a threat. Huh? Let's have that cleared. And how about I do not want you to be happy on your own? Are you affected by a spell like that? Yes or no? Let's have that cleared. And now how about you will always be stuck in heartbreak energy? Yes or no? Let's have that cleared. How about a glamour? I will bring you everything you ever wanted. Are you affected by something like this? Yes or no? And how about a glamour? Oh, this is true love. Yes or no? And 
And how about this promise? Ah, oh, we will have a family. Yes or no? Or how about we will leave a legacy? Yes or no? And are you maybe affected or you affected others? This is thing. Oh, just take a leap of faith. I catch you. Yes or no? Oh, uh, oh you can trust me. Yes or no? Well, again, let's just ask the angels to please clear all those foolish vows and curses, you know, that we put on others and that other put on us. Now, amen, amen, amen. And let's ask, did you curse maybe, did you get cursed that when you say you love somebody that you lose them? Yes or no? Is there a curse that gives you love and then takes it away? Yes or no? Is there a curse to never find love? Yes or no? And is there a curse that you always will be abandoned? Yes or no? Uh, and is there a curse or spell on you that you always fall in love with the wrong people? Yes or no? Ah, uh, and is there an artificial disconnect, like a block or spell, between your heart and root chakra? Yes or no? And are there any human ghosts still following you around and cursing or sabotaging your love life? Yes or no? And how many? And is there any ritual abuse through our uh, black magic? Ritual sexual abuse through black magic still affecting your love life? Yes or no? Are you affected by any type of dysfunctional sexual programming? Well, anything from porn or other mass media? Yes or no? And if you are, just ask, you know, what is it? Now, amen. And is your love life negative still affected by black magic? Yes or no? And now, let's get a little bit more far up. Is there any love programming, like a drama roller coaster program overlay? You know, for luge production, this means for fear and anguish production, for extraterrestrial or other non human beings, yes or no? Well, let's just ask that uh, whatever ghosts are still stuck in previously mentioned issues. Any spells and curses and trauma still stuck from previous issues that this please be cleared by the most powerful angels and spirit guides of God. Now, Amen, Amen, Amen. On all levels, all incarnations, throughout all time and localities, dimensions, subdimensions, throughout all creations, Amen, Amen even and everything for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, amen, amen.
Now let's see. Are you still affected? Is your love life still affected by a sex slave uh, programming? You know, on parallel selves. Well, we have Princess Leia. This <laughs> Jabba the Hutt is an example. So these things happen and affect you, or can affect you. So are you? Do you have sex slave, alien sex slave trauma? Yes or no? Do you carry? Trauma from alien abduction breeding programs in your love life? Yes or no? Are you an aspect of an alien love bite experiment? Yes or no? Is your Love life manipulated by Zeta, Reptilian, Draconian or Anunnaki technology? Yes or no? Are there any negative astral devices affecting your sexual organs? Yes or no? Are there any cast or molds affecting your love and sexual life? Yes or no? How about rings and clamps? Yes or no? How about rods, needles, glass? Yes or no? How about cords? Yes or no? How about plates? Yes or no? How about metal spikes and screws? Yes or no? Are there any other devices or methods not mentioned here, but that spirit knows are harmful and illegal against free will? Yes or no? Are there any ET experiments done in the uterus or reproductive organs? You know, with your umbilical cord? Yes or no? Is there any harvesting of your sexual or reproductive energies going on? Yes or no? So now this is important that you keep affirming this here, because this is about to clear, you know, this is where the rubber hits the road. So, dear Archangel Michael, and the source of all of creation. I'm a divine sovereign being, I'm an eternal being residing in this human body. In the name of the Absolute Source, I resent any and all vows and contacts I have taken, anyone in this body has taken, and anyone within my genetic line has taken, pertaining you know, to these before mentioned uh, obstacles, curses, and vows. If you like to have these all removed. Is key all on all dimensions, everywhere. Aim and aim. Dear Ascendant teams, please rejoin the lost ghost with their higher self aspects now. Aim and aim. aim. And also please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma of them to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible now. Amen, amen, amen. Please empower recurring scans and special protection and guardians for me, especially for my sleep time 
in this incarnation and all incarnations across space and time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions, and the world. Also, please liberate any and return any stolen, captured part of my soul, my energy, my mind, or ghosts. Amen. Amen. And now, uh, we thank all those beings that helped out to clear those curses, to liberate our ghosts, and bring karmic balance into our life. And we ask that all our subtle bodies be completely reunited with the physical body we aligned, charged up, and that we get completely grounded now, and that all the energies get integrated perfectly, and that we brought back into vacant day consciousness, and that any negative portals towards the dark be closed. Amen. Amen. We ask that any cords between you and me be cleared now. Amen, 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 and if any negative energy for me, blood over to you, or from you to me, we like to have all this cleared, whatever it is, amen. Now, right. you can come back, one, two, three. Hello, my friends. <laughs> so, uh, drink a lot of water. That's very important, very important. At least a quart of water. Uh, take it easy. Uh, don't drive or operate heavy machinery for a while. You know, unless you ground, maybe ground yourself. If you get a headache, drink more water. Um, do this meditation, not more than once a week, I would say. Of course, if you want to cut right to the chase, you know, send me an email. And, you know, I help you figure this out. I mean, this is, love life is a complicated thing. It affects us in every lifetime. And it's like kind of, in a way, trying to put a transmission together by watching YouTube. You know, it's possible, and you probably can fix something here and there. But, you know, if you can afford it, it's definitely worth the time that you put into this. Anyhow, uh, if, this, if you like this, you know, do the cyber stuff, subscribe. Um, plus, watch the other videos. You know, if my style affects you, you know, that's really good for you. So, see you another time. I love you. <laughs>